All right, hello guys, and welcome to your final Winter Storm Maya forecast. We're going to get right into things. We're going to look at our Futurecast NAM radar, and keep in mind that this model does have some tendencies to be a little bit overboard with the precipitation and possibly even a little bit warmer in some instances. Uh, I believe this one, it likes to put a little bit more ice than there will be. I'm even on the conservative side for most forecasts, but I'm still a little bit more aggressive than this model is being. As far as how much uh, snow and how little ice there is, uh, we are going to be dealing with some major ice. I didn't make a graphic for the ice, but through Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia, Maryland, upstate New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, we're all looking at the threat for uh, major ice and I mean freezing rain by ice and even sleet in some instances, but mostly freezing rain is the concern. There's a there's a big chance for freezing rain, uh, major freezing rain in all of these areas, and all of you should be prepared for the worst of driving conditions over the next couple of days due to that. So keep in mind uh, that all areas are have a uh, have a threat of that. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Anyway, we're looking at our radar right now. We're going to be moving on six-hour increments in our future cast NAM 3KM uh, reflectivity here. And you can see we have some snow showers lingering there for Pennsylvania, northern Maryland, Delaware, New, Jer New Jersey. We're all feeling this right now. Uh, and then we're going to move on another six hours, and this is kind of nighttime tonight. And you can see that Pennsylvania is starting to get uh, covered in snow here. Uh, we're, we're, we're moving north with that snow line. That snow line is trying to move north in the New York City as well. All of New Jersey is starting to get taken over by snow. We're going to move on six more hours to the morning time of tomorrow. And you can see ice for northern Maryland and southern Pennsylvania. I think we could hold on to snow a little bit longer than this model is showing. And I also think there could be a little bit more precipitation near the coast. Nevertheless, uh, this is what the model is showing. Moving on another six hours uh, towards the afternoon, late afternoon hours here. And you can see... Pennsylvania looks to be all ice by this point. Upstate New York, all covered in snow, heavy snow near the mixing line. Uh, New York City, you're probably still snow by this point. This map shows uh, ice, I think I think more snow for you guys. Connecticut, starting to get your snow. Another six hours, and we're moving towards the late evening of tomorrow. And you can see southern New England, we're either snow or ice by this point. Uh, we could be icing over at any point, whether it be earlier or later. This could vary by six hours, and that's why a lot of these amounts near the coast could really vary. Uh, and this forecast has a high bust rate, which means basically uh, there's a good chance that this forecast could be wrong, or a better chance than most forecasts. Uh, and pretty much all weather sources acknowledge that. So it's not just me that's acknowledging that. Uh, all four forecasts are susceptible to that. Now we have heavy snow there for northern upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, just north of Boston and Boston. We're going to move on one more six hour increment towards Wednesday, middle of the night. And you can see some point during the night we're going to switch over to ice and switch over to rain for Boston, New York City, those areas. Uh, and really uh, the snow is going to be from the White Mountains up into Maine, uh, northern Vermont, northern upstate New York. All of us are snow. And then you can see as we move on to Wednesday morning. It's about 8 a.m. Wednesday, and you can see upstate New York. We're still snow. Vermont still snow. Portions of Massachusetts changing back to snow. Portions of New Hampshire also changing back to snow. And then Maine, we're starting to mix near the coast. We're going to move one more six-hour increment here to the afternoon of Wednesday. And you can see Maine is really the only one feeling the snow here. There is some snow showers for Pennsylvania and New York. Uh, but really, it's, it's mostly Maine and New Hampshire feeling it by this point. And another six-hour increment towards... Uh, Wednesday night and you can see this one's basically out of here now here's your snowfall total according to the NAM model and you can see we're looking at lower amounts for Pennsylvania than once uh, once thought and you can see where a lot of Pennsylvania New Jersey southern New England Long Island Maryland these are all look a lot lower than what I've been forecasting and that's because I am forecasting more than this model is showing again this has a warm tendency and it's really showing here it's really showing a lot of ice and not a lot of snow at all uh, I really think there will be more snow than this. I really believe that. And as you've probably seen, almost all other forecasts uh, think that as well. Now, here's my official forecast for this storm. And some things have changed. Some things have not. You see all the white. We're looking at a dusting, the three inches of snow, the lightest shade of blue that extends most of Pennsylvania, uh, New York City, north of you into New Jersey, Long Island, all of Connecticut, all of Rhode Island, a lot of Massachusetts. Uh, we're all looking at three to six inches, and then your medium shade of blue, which extends from upstate New York through to northwestern Pennsylvania, or sorry, northeastern Pennsylvania, uh, into the Massachusetts area, western 
and northern Massachusetts, southern Vermont, southern New Hampshire, and the coastal areas of Maine. We're all looking at 6 to 10 inches of snow. Your darker shade of blue, it's kind of a blackish color. That's 10 to 15 inches of snow from upstate New York into Vermont, the mountains of Vermont, mountains of New Hampshire, and then the northern interior portions of Maine. And then we have our purple section there uh, for kind of that upstate New York area in the purple, obviously. Uh, 15 to 20 inches of snow for you guys. I think you have the best chance of exceeding 15 inches of snow, but I think a lot of areas in this black or blue area with just a little bit of extra precipitation or a little bit more precipitation than we're thinking could see over 15 inches of snow. Anyway, guys, I hope you stay safe during this storm, and I hope you choose us to track the next winter storm. I hope that you come back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you subscribe uh, for our next winter storm that we will be having. Most likely, uh, it is Nadia. Uh, which is in the northwestern United States. Most likely that will be moving its way across to the eastern United States uh, by late next week, or late this week actually. So I hope, I hope you're back to track that one with me. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video.